What is up you guys? Today's video is a very exciting video because I am using the new Norvina collection from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But before I get into that video, this is a three look video and let me just say it took a lot of work. It took a lot of time, but it was so much fun filming this. I also, I got their new foundation today in the mail as well. So I am going to be doing a video on this later. I want to do a full wear test. I want to do it over a couple days so that I get a good idea. I also ooh, got the powders. I talk more about these foundations and everything in my Instagram stories, so follow me there. And I will also be talking about it more in depth on my video. So if you have not seen my last video, I actually do recommend that video. It's a pretty informative video. I want to raise awareness and it's still a very important video to me. So I'll link that video down below if you want to watch that one next. But going into this video, here we have the new Norvina collection. This is the PR box. And usually they sell their PR boxes. I don't know if they're going to do it for this one. I don't have it on the website. I tried to look. Trend Moon didn't say anything about it either. But if they do, I will post about it on my Instagram to let you guys know. But for now, I do have prices for both the palette and then the new liquid lipstick set that they have. So here is the actual palette. It is 25 shades. It is a new hard plastic case. There's a huge mirror inside, as well as bigger pan sizes. So you are getting 1.8 grams per shadow in here for $60. Now, this is actually so much bigger, not only packaging-wise than their 14 shade eyeshadow palette, but in that palette, I know it's 0.7 grams per shade, and this is 1.8. So this is pretty good for the price point and it is also really pigmented. It's a pro pigment palette. So as you see my looks, I'll dip in once and that's basically all I needed. Sometimes it was a little too much, but that is pretty good because pigment is there. That is enough talking about with this. Also what came in this box was their eye primer. Now they did release this eye primer a couple of months ago. I still have my first one, so let me just say that this eyeshadow primer is really good. I use it in every single look today. Moving along to their lip set, this is going to be $35, only available on AnastasiaBellyHills.com, but it is four different coral shades. I did swatch them on my Instagram, so go ahead and check those out if you want to see individual swatches. I am wearing one today. It is in the shade Pastel Coral. It was the most lightest muted one that I thought would look good with this look. And I actually do like the lip color with the look. It's very bright and out of my comfort zone. I usually go for nudes. But you get four of these, $35, AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com. Both this and the palette will be releasing on Monday, August 26th. So that is it for this video. I am going to be doing a foundation wear test video later on. I also filmed a brow tutorial, so when I post that one, I'll link it down below. Yeah, so that's basically it. Subscribe, like this video, comment if you have any other video ideas I should do, and if you love this video, it would mean so much to me. So let's just jump right into the eye look. All right, so this is my first look for this video. I did want to keep it very purple and pink tones. This is like a very colorful glam look, I guess you could say. Obviously, I'm not wearing foundation. If I did, can you imagine how much better this look would be? Still cute though. So this is look number one. Keep watching to see how I did this. All right, here we go, look number one. I'm going to the shade C4 with a JH35 brush, and I'm just blending that into my crease, back and forth. Then I dip into the shade B1 with a M573 from Morphe, and I'm just blending that above the crease shade. 
Next up, I'm going to the shade A3 with a JH34 brush, and I'm going into the outer corner and into my crease. Just like that. Then I'm going to cut my crease, only half of it, with a M224 from Morphe using the Anastasia Eye Primer. And for hooded lids, I say this all the time, I go above my actual crease and I go into my eye socket area. Now I'm placing the shade B3 with a M124 onto my new crease that I just cut. Now I'm blending it back out with the JH34, my outer corner, to blend it with the shimmer. I don't come in with any more product, I just mash them together. And now, next up. Going into my lower lash line, I'm taking that shade again C4, blending it to my bottom lash line. And I don't remember what brush this is, but it's a Morphe brush. Then I'm taking the same brush, with shade B1, and blending out my lower lash line once again. And I'm also doing a voiceover because, can you imagine me multitasking? I can't. Taking the shade A1 with a JH39 brush, I'm hitting my inner corners and then my brow bone. I also didn't mention it, but all the lashes that I'm using in this look is going to be from 808 Oahu Cosmetics the lash number 14. So go follow them on Instagram and buy their products. I love them so much. So here's look number two. This is probably my favorite look that I'm going to do today. I especially love the blue and the gold in the inner corner and the way that the cut just came out. Perfect. Muy bien. Super good. So this is look number two and here we go. Okay, so dipping into the shade D3, I'm using a Morphe M512 brush. This brush is really good because even though it's tiny and I forget about it like all the time, it's firm enough to pack shadows on, but it is also fluffy enough to blend them out. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the shade and I'm following my eye socket to create my crease shape, and then I'm blending it out up into the tail of my brow. Then I'm taking the shade E2 on a Morphe M456 brush and I'm just blending that first shade out so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm taking the shade D1 on an Anastasia A25 brush and I mix between the windshield wiper motion and like circular motion to blend this out and I'm blending it all the way up into my brows because I need all the space I can get for my eyelids. Now, I forgot to film it, but I'm taking a Juicy Couture brush. It's a little pointed brush into the shade D5. And this is just adding extra definition and depth to my crease before I cut it. So I'm just following, again, my eye socket. And then using the same brush as before, the M152, I'm taking the shade D3, just a little bit, not a lot. I'm blending the black shade into the red before I finally cut this crease. So now I'm gonna cut my crease and I'm using the same brush as the first time in Morphe M224 with the Anastasia ABH. That's the same thing, ABH Anastasia, the eye primer. That's what I'm doing. And I know some people like to swipe their thing, their concealer and stuff on, but I'm not talented enough to do that. So basically I just pat on my concealer and I make sure my brush is really pointy so that it creates a nice clean line when I am doing that. And then I just swipe it on the outside and before I go back into shimmer shades, I pat out the eye primer to blend it a little bit into my skin so there's no weird markings between the eye primer. Now I'm taking the shade E1 on a little Anastasia brush, the one that comes in their palettes usually. I'm just using that to pack on that shade to my lid. I also put a piece of tape on the outer corner area of my eye so that 
it has a sharp line when I take it off and then I don't have to use eyeliner to cover that up. Now I'm coming in to a E18 brush from Morphe with the shade D4 on my lower lash line and blending that shade out with C1, the white shade, on a Jaclyn Hill JH38 Morphe brush. Now for my inner corners, I forgot to do it before I put on my lashes, but I'm using that shade C2 on the same brush as before, the JH39, and just going on my inner corners and brow foam to complete look number two. And there we have it, look number two. All done, actually my favorite look out of all three of them because of the blue, orange, red, yellow combination. So this is look number three. As you can tell, it's so much different from my other looks. We're gonna put a foundation. I also threw on this lip color, but stay tuned to see how I did this super soft, very wearable look. All right, look number three, the final look. I'm taking the shade E3 from the palette, obviously, on a Morphe R37 brush. And I am just blending that out as my transition shade. And usually, you know, I start with my crease shades, but I thought to switch it up since this is a really simple look. I wanted this look to be not only simple, but wearable so that I can show this palette does that. Then I'm taking the shade C5 on a M441 for Morphe in my crease to deepen it up give some definition. Now on a Luxie 243 brush, I'm taking the shade E5 and packing that in the outer V of my eye. And now I'm taking the shade C3, this beautiful rose gold color, on a Morphe M124 brush and just placing that onto my lid and all the way up to my crease. Now I am blending the shade E3 on a M441 brush to connect the top to the bottom. Then to highlight my inner corner and brow bone, I'm taking that shade E1 on a JH39 brush again and popping it in those places to give the finishing. And that is it for this entire look. It was super simple and very wearable.